I've been carrying these camp chairs around for the past six to seven years and they have served their purpose but it was showing age after that many years of use so it was trying time to get a new set of chairs and I had to do a bit of searching because I wanted something different something that will help me save a lot more packing space in the Forby and I finally after a few months of searching I found the perfect product for me and in this video I'm going to share with you what that is and why I'm very happy with it. Welcome back everyone. Before we dive into this video, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscription button and the notification bell because my channel is all about sharing my experiences in overlanding with the rest of the community. So in today's video, it's about a set of new camping chairs I bought. Now, I've always been keeping my camp chairs in back here. Now, those of you who've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that the entire back end of my 80 series has been custom built for a specific purpose in each section. And this area of the uh, load area is for chucking stuff in and mainly I chuck in my bottles of water in there which I carry depending on how long the trip is and also camp chairs and a few other things in there. Now what I didn't quite like about these chairs as much as they've served the purpose and I've been very happy with them what I didn't like with this particular type of design not so much this brand but this particular design is that it's very long and more of a tube like when it's packed so that pretty much takes up the entire length of space that I've got and when you're touring and you're going remote every bit of space that you can utilize for packing is very very essential so when it was time to change these chairs and get a new set of chairs or a new pair of chairs um, I wanted to get something where I could conserve space so I had pretty much decided I wasn't going to go for this type of chair unless there was no choice at all. Then I looked at what are known as the director's chairs, which are for camping, which falls flat. It's more like a square shape when you fold it all together. And a lot of the ones that I found were unfortunately still too big and it pretty much took up this entire space. And that would have meant that I can only put the chairs in there. So. After a few more searches, I came across a product which I found was the perfect fit for my requirement. And that is the front runner collapsible cam chair. Now when it's collapsed, now I'll talk about dimensions, how this works, how you fold it open in a, in a little bit. So keep watching the video and also where I got it from, I will talk about towards the end of the video. So keep watching and this worked perfectly for me because now because of, the, of this design and how flat and slim and it collapses into place i do not even have to store it back here i can put it elsewhere and then utilize this space for something else and exactly where i'm going to store this now and how much space i've saved because of this particular design i'll show you towards the end of the video so keep watching as well so Let's get into how this chair works and then uh, how it collapses and it falls and then I'll talk specifications as well and thereafter I'll do a comparison between the two chairs and, and see which one. There are pros and cons of course in any product there's pros and cons. This has worked for me for a particular reason mainly being the packing criteria but in comfort wise as well I'll give you some ratings so keep watching the video. So this is the front runner collapsible camp chair. I got two of them, one for myself and one for a journey. When it's collapsed, it's 43 centimeters by 40 centimeters by five centimeters. So the amount of space it takes up once you're packing it, it's very little compared to the other chairs that's available in the market. Uh, it's got a load rating of 115 kilos. Once it's opened up, I, the height, of the chair is, let me check, um, because it's all brand new, I just got it a few days ago. 
And yeah, when the seating height is 43 centimeters, seating width is 50 centimeters. I'll put all these specifications in the description below. So, you know, if you want to read through, I'll also leave a link below to as to where I bought this from. And uh, so if you want to go and take a look at it and order one for yourself, use that link. And then it's also um, weighs only four kilos. So that's pretty lightweight. In fact, I think the, a lot of the other camp chairs, the folding types, weigh around about that much anyway, or some of them a little bit more. Now, how does this work? So here, it, it's quite easy. It's all little Velcro locks that keeps it all together. And all you do is open it up. Now, while it's up here, expand the chair, stretch it out, open the backrest, and that's it. Literally in a matter of seconds, you can have it up and running. And thereafter, the beautiful thing is, now it stands a bit upright at the back, I feel. So when we do the comparison between this chair and the, the older chairs that we've had, we'll, we'll give you our opinion about how we feel in terms of comfort. But it's very easy to set up, as you saw in the video. On the sides, you've got these little useful pockets you could probably put something in here and close the lid you could put a drink in there you could probably put a can of beer or soft drink or whatever in there and then on the side here you get another pocket to put whatever you want and you can velcro the lid so it's pretty easy to set up so now the comfort wise what we feel about it and also um, the pros and cons of it. You know, any any product that you buy, there's always going to be a pro, pros and cons. So, oh, you haven't tried this before, have you? This, so let's see what Johnny thinks for it. Right. Yeah. What do you think of in terms of comfort, sitting and so on? Well, this one sits a little bit higher than that one. Yeah, it's this one, you could say it's, it's a little bit more, this this design of camp chair is a little bit more lounge chair-like, you could say. Yeah. And that sits a little bit upright yeah. or more rigid. Yeah. But when I say rigid, by no means am I saying it's not comfortable. It is comfortable. Yeah. And then the other thing I would say is um, the arm rests on this one is a little bit wider for the arms. Whereas that's not. That's not yeah. yeah. But apart from that, I quite like it. Yeah. Um, and then when, along with that, when you consider the fact that it takes up so much little space compared to this, I think yeah. we're pretty happy with what we've got ourselves. Yeah. The real test will come when we go on, you know, camps and set up camp and spend more time. But overall, we are very happy with it. And in a minute, I'll show you um, where exactly I'm going to pack this and how much space that's allowed us to utilize for some anything else that we want to do. So overall, I think we're pretty happy with what we bought. Yeah. And uh, it's very durable material it's built out of. So it's pretty strong. I can see it. I can feel it in my hands. Now, because it falls flat, the nice thing is I can chuck this underneath our swag. Now, in our case, the swag sits inside the, the back of the 4B. We've taken the back seat out and this can easily go underneath the so both chairs go underneath this swag and that's it and where we used to keep our folding chairs at the back of the phobi that entire space is now empty for me to use it for something else so i hope you found this video useful if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you're looking at purchasing this product or getting a little bit more information about it use the link in the description below if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscription button and the notification bell because our channel is all about sharing our experiences in overlanding with the rest of the community. And we bring out a video every single week. Thanks for watching. Thank you.